Welcome guys, welcome to this video. So in the last video we saw how we can display the posts and the excerpt. Now in this video I want to work on the post thumbnail. So we have featured image and you can see the image here and when we go inside the post we see the full image. So you can set the size of this image as you like. I will show you how to customize the size and how to register the featured image if it is not available here in your theme because in our theme currently we do not have this feature enabled so we need to enable it first in wordpress admin if you go to the post edit and if you see featured image here at the right that means your theme supports featured images but if you don't see, I'm going to show you how you can add that support. To, for adding the support, we need to go into text editor and then into the functions.php. I have created a function called add features to the theme. And in this function, I'm going to add the post thumbnail feature. So here, what I'm going to do, at first I'm going to add a comment, add feature. And here, I'm going to say add underscore theme underscore support to be post dash thumbnails and spelling should be correct so i save this now if i go back here and refresh the page you will notice that we have a featured image here so we can now upload an image so let's do that let's add an image i'm going to add the images so i'm going to just click here and then here select file image and here we can edit the image if you want to edit the size and everything you can do that but i'm just going to uh, currently go back and select and set feature and simply say update now if i go to the front page we are not going to see the image so if i go to blog post and refresh so we are in the five uh, fifth post and you can see that five content is the same title so this is not showing us any image the reason is we need to add it into the theme so currently we don't have it that's the reason we're not seeing it there so for that we need to so the blog page posts are powering by the index.php so we are going to go into the index.php here and here uh, where we want to show our image we can uh, display let's add it in on top of the title so our title is showing up here and here i can add the image so to add the image we are going to open the php tag the post underscore thumbnail all right and if i save this and go here and refresh you can see that we have the image showing up right now so the thing is this just I, I added the image and it is displaying here we haven't customized it and we haven't told wordpress what size we require in this image we are just adding it straight away so to work with the sizes i need to uh, add the support for the size as well so for doing that what we do we go into the uh, functions.php again and here where we added the post theme support here i'm going to say add underscore image underscore size and here we are going to pass the name the name we are going to call the size with so i'm going to call it small dash thumbnail all right and i want it to be in width 200 and 140 and aspect ratio to be true all right now we can use this size we can uh, tell wordpress that we want this size image should be of this size when image display so what i do is copy this and i go index.php here i'm going to pass that small thumbnail all right now if i go here and refresh you can see that image size has been changed all right now you can design it as you want now let's say if i go to the post itself here we don't have the image and the single page with the single post page is this uh, single.php so if i 
go there. We don't have the uh, post thumbnail support here, so I'm just going to copy that from here. And we're going to add a different size there. So here, I'm going to paste it. Now in functions.php, I'm going to add another size. So I'm just going to copy and paste this line. And here I want to be, uh, let's say, main image, main thumbnail. And I want it to be 940. Now we can tell WordPress, like, if you try to add an image, for example, if I go here, I want uh, this image to display the upper part of this image, not the complete. So we can tell, like, to choose this image from the top left and display it. So if I go here and instead of true, I pop top. Now we need to use this name when we call this image. So I go to the single.php now, and there we are going to change this name. Save this, go here and refresh. Now I go to the post. You can see the image size is big. So as we, uh, let's change the image. Uh, this image is not that big. So to see the difference, we need to change it. I am going to remove this image and going to add another image so I'm going to upload this and set featured image update go here and refresh now you can see that this image is big okay so if I go to blog page we have small size and when we go here this is uh, the big size now if I go to the image so you can see that the cat is coming from top so it's the upper portion of the image that is displayed here and that is decided when we said that we want to uh, in our functions.php we want uh, left and top so from the image left and from top that size is selected and here it is uh, displaying that way it's not showing us the bottom half it's showing us the top half now, as the face is not coming completely, you can edit the size here. So, I let's say here this, and let's check if it works. So, I go here and refresh. Now, if you were to see the changes, you might need to replace the image. So, we are going to do that. Remove, select, upload, select the file, cat again, and set featured image, update, go back there, refresh. Now you can see the image looking just fine. So in our main page, it is looking like this. And in here, it is looking like this. Now in the post list page, we are not seeing the image properly. It's coming on the top. I want this content to be next to the image. So it looks good. Uh, just like we have in the theme here. So it's not showing up here that way. So to do that, what we do, we go simple, simply to the index.php because the list page is powered from here. And I'm going to wrap this uh, post thumbnail with a div. So I'm going to call it div with the class of post. All right. And I'm going to put the PHP tag inside it. So I'm going to cut this from here. I'm going to put it here. Now, as the we are putting this inside the image, uh, this portion. So we need to have the all rest content in another div. So here it's going to be div with the class of post uh, underscore content all right and here I'm going to cut and paste everything that we have here inside the loop so so far everything so here it goes inside it all right we need to indent it a bit so all right so we have the article post we can pop and we can use CSS to align them in a correct manner now to correcting this styling of it, I'm going to go into the style.css and here uh, where we have our styles, just on top of navigation here, I'm going to add article.post. So we have the article div with the class of post. Now we're going to target the post thumbnail. So I'm going to copy this class and here I'm going to set div with the class of this to be width to be 30. then I want float 
to the left. And I also want padding where we are going to target the post content. So here I'm just going to copy this whole and I'm going to paste here. And then here we are going to copy this class. So here I'm going to put post content. So you can see that nothing changes mainly. Here I'm going to say width to 70% and float to going to be right. And I don't want padding in this case. So now if I save this and go back here, and you can see that we have the content at the right and the image here, but we got our links coming here. So we need to clear the float. So in that case, what we need to do, we need to uh, add here a uh, class. And I'm here going to call content. It is going to be empty. Well, this clear spelling should be correct. So this class, we need to pass to the parent. So I'm going to go here in index and I'm going to give this class to article with the class post here. Hold. Let's see if it works. So refresh the page. Now you can see that we have our links at the bottom now, which looks just fine. Now the thing is we have image set to only this post, not in every post. So it should only uh, go to the right side when we have the post thumbnail set. Otherwise, we should have the content in full width. So to do that, what we can do, we can put a condition here. So what I do here, uh, I'm going to add a class, all right? So this class is going to be has underscore thumbnail, all right? And I'm going to include this class in the CSS. So this styling is going to take effect if this class is there. So instead of post, I'm going to use this class all right so this where it's going to take when we have this class so i save this go here currently we pause this class straight away but we, what do we want to do we want to put the condition here so i'm going to start the php in here and in this condition i'm going to check has underscore post underscore thumbnail if this condition is true, we want to, uh, here we need to close the PHP tag and here after this, we need to again start it so that we can clear, uh, complete the if statement and here. So you can see that if we have the post thumbnail, then add this class as, as style is working based on this class, we added the this class here, only then we're going to be divided. So our style will work only when we have the thumbnail. So if I go here, refresh, you can see that we have image here, content here, and in this post, we don't have post image, but content showing just fine. So this looks nice now. This is working perfectly now. So if I go here, our image is showing just fine. So if you like this video, do like it and share it and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. And help.